All right. Now, remember I told everybody my next video will be up by 1 o'clock? I decided not to do that. I decided to take Father Judgment's advice. Just put a regular video up like I normally do. It is 4.47. I have went through like 12, 20 different videos. And when I get to it, 8 minutes and something, Mark, the camera freeze. If I turn the camera over here, so it shows a picture of Obama on my TV screen, the camera froze. What is this, man? What is this blatant censorship? Then, I complained about parolees. Because parolees killed my cousin. Parolees didn't give him a chance. Parolees didn't give a damn about him. Parolees did him in. Parolees strapped him to the front of a car and drove until the people came outside because they heard squeaking. Parolees murdered this man. They modern day lynched him to a truck and drove around town literally until this man was dead on the front of a truck. Parked it a block from where they were staying. Went in the house and went to sleep. So a parolee shoots a bunch of cops. I don't give a damn. I don't care. I don't care for the parolee and I don't care for the cops. But one thing I do care about is the fact that cops was doing their job. Whatever their job was that day, they was doing it. Whatever their job is. The cops were doing their job. But it's one thing about the police officers you fail to realize, folks. The police officers all work for me. Every police officer in the United States of America works for the citizens of the United States of America. They don't work for the mayor. They don't work for the president. They work for the citizens to serve and protect the citizens of their county, their province, or their town. Some police officers take matters into their own hands. Not every cop's a good cop. Hmm, there's a glare somewhere. But on that same token, not every cop's a bad cop. And we as a people have... What the hell is that shadow? It's like a ghost figure. Go figure. Ghost figure. You get it? Oh, look. Look, look. See this? It's like a ghostly figure right here. See it? See like the eyeballs there? See it? See it? Oh, no. it's right up there. Oh, I'm blocking some kind of... See, you see that? You see that ghost right there? You see the, the ghost right? You see the ghost right there? And the, my hand is right over there. See it? See that glare? That shadow? That that somewhere? Why is it there? The police were shot by some parolee. First of all, we all know parolees are not supposed to have weapons or blah, blah, blah. I'm not on parole, nor have I ever been on parole. Nor will I ever be on parole. I'm tired. I'm tired of doing videos about the police killing people. Uh, you know, it's totally worthless. So, parolees did this. I have no remorse. I have no feelings for the parolee. I'm sorry. The police work for the citizens. What am I supposed to say? I'm supposed to be angry at the police because I was tasered last week? Huh? Am I supposed to be mad at the police? Or like, yeah, they got what they deserve. No, don't nobody deserve to die. No man deserves to die. And I know this video is going to stop, so I'm not, even, I'm not even trying to be super ultra serious like I was the first 400 million times I tried this. People have got to understand. We put people in position. Okay? 
if we got problems with the police, vote in a new commissioner. What was that? I mean, what just happened? Computer problems. Like I said, we put people in position. If we having problems with the police, vote you a new police commissioner in. Hold these police forces accountable. This is our army. The police are our army. That's our front line against them. The police work for the citizens of the United States of America. That is their primary function, to serve and protect the citizens of the United States of America. We as citizens of the United States of America need to let these people see that they work for us. Period. No matter where you go, who you are, the police work for the citizens. We are the citizens. I'm not going to be glad because some guy got out the cop and shot, got out the car and shot some cops. Am I supposed to say, yeah, good for him? No. This guy shot a bunch of my employees. I want the police to live because no matter how messed up it is, no matter how screwed up it is, no matter how messed up some of them are, screwed up they are. They're there to protect us. If you can't trust the people that are here to protect you, then you obviously got to be doing something wrong. The police officers work for the citizens. They work for you. They abide by your rules. You understand what I'm getting at? Parolees killed an innocent man on the way to the store to get a drink. He wanted a beer or a soda or whatever. He went to the store because he didn't want to listen to his woman arguing. So that 20 minute ride to the store was worth getting out of the house. And don't nobody deserve to die on the way to the store. And then the people on the street, if you don't trust the police, I'm with you. There's human error when it comes to police officers. Not every police officer is thinking like, hey, this, this, this could be my brother. This could be my sister. This could be my nephew. This could be my niece right here. They don't think like that. They think about, okay, looks like a black guy to me. Okay, he might be a criminal. It's because these phony ass statistics that they have based on color and race. And that's how we're governed. We're governed based on statistics. We as the people of the United States of America need to understand who's making the statistics. Who's going to become a statistic? These officers didn't set out to go murder somebody today. I hope not. But they didn't set out to go get shot either. I hope not. As an American citizen, all my heart goes out for these people who were shot. As a human being, my heart goes out for every person involved, even the criminal, because no man need die. No woman needs to die. We all need to have the same opportunity to take care of each other. We shouldn't need a police force to walk around here with guns. They don't walk around with guns in England, do they? If somebody said, AIX, how would you feel about a camera on every pole? If I ain't doing nothing wrong, I don't give a darn about the camera on the pole. The camera on the pole will protect me against from rogue police officers who don't have me in their best interest. In dash cameras on every car, every citizen's car, hold everybody accountable. Period. There's all kind of things that can prevent human mis human mismanagement, the human error factor. Nobody deserves to die. Nobody deserves to be hurt. And I wish everybody involved in this to find a silver lining because I'm done with this. I've done 100 videos today and probably only two of them are going to be uploaded. This video hasn't stopped. Well, I guess it's stopped now. Hey, you find any logic in this, pass it on.